welcome back everyone got another emacs video here for you this is a an ideal topic for an emacs beginner here if you've just opened up emacs and you're curious about moving around well it's a good thing to know because you want to get around a nice big juicy chunk of text here that i've got i've pasted this over from uh, frankenstein the novel which has these really huge paragraphs and it's a great big piece of text to jump around and uh, and demonstrate here how to move around in emacs so you see with just a few clicks you can really jump around a document i'm going here up to the top all the way down to the bottom and you see here it says bot you know that means bottom it's giving you your your position there you can jump up by paragraphs there's a lot of things you can do and you know this is something that you'll customize over time. And uh, I'll say from the beginning here, I'm not using the popular evil mode, which brings in the the Vim key bindings that people like to use that can keep you on your on your home row with the H, J, K, and L keys and things like that. Um, I'm you know I'd like to try those out one day, but I'm still at a point where I want to you know just learn Emacs, uh, keep learning Emacs. From the, the the base keys that it gives you, you know, try and keep a, a simple configuration and not require too much. Uh, so I'm still using the, the default Emacs keys that we're going to be talking about here today. So the good thing is, so I'm here in uh, in Mac OS today, and of course you could be on Linux or Windows or something else. But if you um, if you are in Mac OS, there's a few problems you might notice. Uh, one thing on the MacBooks is that you only have a control key on the left side so <laughs> so that is a uh, so i actually using using emacs on a mac is not preferable for me because you really you really need to have your control keys on either side you know and you'll get your your emacs pinky involved and all that but um, but i actually I have a full keyboard right now that's plugged in so i can use it everything just fine so so I'm starting here at the top. Of course, the, the basics, uh, moving down by lines. The good thing is, by default, Emacs will have these keys mapped to your, your keyboard's arrow keys. So you won't really need to worry. You can just use the arrow keys to go you know, forward and, and, and back and, and up and down. But um, if you use the, the other Emacs keys for that, uh, you can have an advantage of of remapping those arrow keys to something else, which you know could be could be helpful for you. And I'll also just say um, the the moving around that I'm doing is stuff that I that I use most often. So it might not be it might not be the way you'd prefer to do it, but these are what I found that be the, the movements that I get the most use out of. So so starting here to go down, you do Control N which I guess is N for next, right? So next line, control N, and then N, or then control P, previous, up to the previous line. That's going up and down by line. You can also, of course, go forward by, by characters, control F. So of course, for control F to go forward, you'll need to have a control key on the right, which you know you, you may not have on your, on certain laptop keyboards. So, so that can be, uh, troublesome, but yeah, F for forward, and then you know, Control B, B for back. So forward and back. Pretty basic, right? So another thing you can do, which is really cool, is moving forward and backward by words. So this will be uh, the Alt key, Alt F forward, Alt B back by words forward by words and uh what i did there was control a it goes back to the beginning of the line control a and then the end of the line um oops wrong one control e is uh end of the line control a the beginning of the line and so what i just did there sneak preview alt f uh probably not not alt f alt e pardon end of the sentence alt a beginning of the sentence uh, so watch what happens when I go down here, though. Alt-E, end of the sentence. Oh, it jumped me all the way down here. Uh, 
but there's a there's a, a sentence break right here. Uh, so this is a setting in Emacs where in order to to recognize a sentence, you have to have two spaces after the period, and then you can use this feature of beginning of sentence, end of sentence. Uh, that is a setting that you can customize to turn off so that it'll treat a regular sentence like this one with only one space as a sentence so you can use this feature. I, I didn't bother to customize that. I've just gotten used to doing double spaces now uh, because I actually, I think that's, um, I think it's, it's easier to read in some ways. So I, I don't mind doing that. Um, so there, that, that's jumping around by sentence, which is convenient. And um, another one, jumping down by paragraph pretty interesting right so that is shift alt and uh left bracket right bracket left bracket goes up right bracket goes down with with shift and alt selected um and i get um i get so much usage out of that one i've mapped it to the up and down keys the up and down arrow keys so i, I can jump down um I think this is a different function because you'll see it's dropping me into the paragraph. Let's just see. Uh, control H, uh, Control H K. Uh, oh yeah, so I have bound org backward. So that's that's a different function, but it, it does uh, it does something similar. But, um, but yeah, so you have that option as well. Pardon. So, so that's going up and down by paragraph. Another interesting thing is, let's say you're you're in the middle of the document here. We're about halfway, um, halfway through this uh, all like all the text that we've got. So you can use Control L to sort of move the screen around points. And so now, see, we're at the middle. If you hit it hit it again, it brought more up from the bottom. If you click it again, it brought more down from the top. So that, that that's kind of this is something that I haven't used a lot, but it's 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 interesting. If you just want to leave your your point or your cursor uh, stationary, you can actually move the document around you. So right, you're in the middle. You want to see a little bit toward the bottom, or a little bit on top. Uh, that's an interesting one that um, that you could probably think of some some ways to use. I haven't used that one very often, but I think it's interesting. And of course, uh, as you saw before, you can go all the way up to the top and all the way to the bottom. I have that mapped to my left and right arrow keys. Because sometimes I just want to, you know, I've, I'm proofreading or I'm jumping around. I just want to start over again from the top. Just hit, I hit that left key and it will take me up to the top. Uh, I'm trying to remember uh, what the functions were for, for that to begin with let's see really quick um so beginning of buffer yeah okay so i can't remember what that was mapped to in default emacs um but i've mapped it to to left i believe there was something i don't know if it was the the home key or the end key uh that was something so okay yeah those work so home takes you to the top and takes you to the to the bottom so so there you go that is how I like to move around in Emacs. And if you have any of your favorite, of course, uh, be sure to leave a comment and let me know. And smash the like button. Smash it several times. Um, and uh, and have, some, have some fun moving around in Emacs. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.